And obviously, if you're here, you're here to see Slowbro do this. Hello and welcome. If you're here, you obviously know Greninja is in the seven star raids this weekend only. And what better way to defeat him than with using this slow boy? All right, let's get into it. First, we're going to start off with the items you need. First one is Nasty Plot, which is a TM. Very useful move. It gives you plus two to your special attack. We're, we're going to want to go to area zero. And then as soon as you get inside, you're going to want to teleport to workstation two. And then you're going to want to go outside. As soon as you go outside, turn around. There's going to be a cliff. Climb the cliff. Go on top of the cliff. And there's going to be rock. TM should be there. You can't see it because I've already collected it, but it's there. Next, we're going to be getting stored power. You're going to want to go west of Los Platos. And then you're going to want to go past all this grassy terrain. And then you're going to see like a rock in the corner. It's just in the corner. The TM is right there. I've collected it in this game. But on your game, if you haven't gotten it yet, then it's going to be right there. Next item we're looking for is Iron Defense. The TM is around south province area five we're gonna fast travel to the watchtower and once you get here this is what it looks like around the map you're gonna want to go up a little bit and it's gonna be right here i'm gonna set my marker Once we get up here, as you can see, it's just chilling right here. And this one will be the last of the TMs. It is Brick Break. I want to go to North of Luvincia. And then there's a little trail up here, as you can see on the map. We're just going to follow the trail. There's going to be a tree next to these this little fenced off area climb over and then you're just gonna hop over on the other side and the tm will be just chilling next to these little rocks buried in the ground next we're headed to deli bird presence over in mesa goes west it's gonna have a power weight and power lens and then we also want to pick up four bottle caps and the four bottle caps will be for the IV training. And then the two, the power weight and the power lens will be for the EV training. And now we're onto the slow bro part. Want to head over to Castle Royal Lake. And then once we get into here, uh, slow bro and slow poke spawn everywhere around the island, especially in the water. I found mine right here. They're just chilling right here in groups. Usually you find them in groups. It's up to you if you want to evolve a slow poke into a slow bro or just catch a slow bro. In this video, I'm going to be capturing a slow bro. And for my shiny hunters, this is what a shiny slow poke next to a normal slow poke looks like. Just in case you want to get that for the raid Pokemon. What a shiny slow bro looks like. He looks like this. <laughs> He's got blue all over, and his tail's a little yellowish. Pretty clean, one of my favorite shinies. Once you've picked out your Slowpoke, you're gonna wanna, or Slowbro, you're gonna wanna go ahead and just catch him, just like this. Boom. Next, we're gonna wanna head over to Monte Nevera. You just wanna fly over here, and then around the Pokestop, there should just be some guy chilling in between Two trees. Oh, you see him right there in the background. <laughs> he's just chilling there. You're going to want to go up to him. And he's going to hyper train your Pokemon. As you can see, if you don't know what hyper training is, it maxes out your Pokemon's IV stat, which is like the stat they're born with. And 
just a comparison here's the one that i've already had my shiny soul bro and here's the one we just caught and now we're just gonna run over to him and then he's gonna ask us which pokemon do we want to hyper train obviously we're gonna want to hyper train our slow bro boom and then we only need four stats that's why we only have the four bottle caps so it's gonna be hp defense special attack and special defense and now i'm gonna speed it up there we go and then we don't need to hyper train any other pokemon and now if we open up our box we can see slow bros are matching in the iv stat category and while we're here you want to go to chance of supply because if your slow bro doesn't have the right nature that boosts its special attack and lowers its speed you want to come over here and buy the quiet mint and after you purchase the quiet mint you just want to give it to your slow bro and now well he's already slow so his speed doesn't really matter and now your special attacks didn't have a slight buff to it now just like my shiny slow bro And now we're going to get into the moveset that we're going to be using for the EV training. And it doesn't really matter too much because even if you accidentally save over a TM move with another TM move, you can always just change the moves and go to remember moves and he'll still know it. You just had to swap them out. But like you see in the video, I put a different moveset, but the one on screen works as well. And as I mentioned before, we're going to be training the EV stat, which is like a hidden graph. So when you hover over your slow bro, you want to press L on him and reveal the EV graph and the stats that it's in a boost. And as you can see, the difference between my two slow bros. And that's basically what we're going to be working on now. For the grind spot, we're going to be going to the North Province Area 3 Pokemon Center. So we're just going to fast travel. And then you want to turn around, go to the grass area. And before we even start the picnic or anything, you want to equip the power lens on your slow bro because Chansey, every time you knock them out, they increase your HP EV stat. And basically, you just kill two birds with one stone. You're going to be increasing your special attack while increasing your HP by knocking out these Chansey. And they give you a lot of XP as well. And now we're going to go to a flat open area in the grass. And then we're going to make a ham sandwich. And I don't know if you guys already have the recipe or not, but if you want to just go into creative, it's literally, I think, ham, cucumber, mustard, and mayo. And you don't have to worry, your sandwich doesn't have to be pretty, <laughs> like how I did mine. I mean, it does look good still though. I mean, who wouldn't want that? And now, as you can see, they love the sandwich. Who wouldn't love the sandwich? And we got encounter power normal level one is what we were looking for. We finished that. We go on out. Nothing but chancy out here. And then you just shouldn't want to start using brick break on all of them. Just start, start smacking them. Just start, just wipe out the population of chancy. You might be wondering why are we using brick break, a physical move instead of a special attack move? It's because chancy actually like to use light screen, which reduces the amount of special attack damage you can do to them so brick break gets rid of that but it's also a strong physical super effective move against them make sure your slow bro is 60 on the graph you can already see we're making progress there but let's say you want to take a break you just go to switch home menu we're at 28 14 and we're just gonna sit in here for a little bit and then if we go back you can actually see it's only at 28 13 now i've knocked out quite a few chancy already and as you can see special attack has increased as well as the hp but special attack has increased more due to the fact that our slow bro has the power lens but like i mentioned before chancy automatically increase your hp ev stat on their own without any items so we're doing two things at once here and i'll come back to you guys once i maxed out the special attack and I believe this should be my last chancy. And yep. 
especially see the special attack stat is max when it's glowing like that and now we're going to swap it out for the health or power weight and then you should want to rinse and repeat just do that until your hp stat is max as well and it should go by pretty fast but as you can see we have a max ev stats and special attack and hp stat and with that we're gonna want to go ahead and change the moves the move set that you want is stored power and slack off iron defense and nasty plot and the double speed footage is just me going through that now we're almost done as you can see as i compare the ev stats they're exactly the same but if we head over to the box you can see i have a bit more iv training on my shiny slow bro you absolutely don't need your attack up you just need the four that i told you but we, we're missing one more thing for the slow bow we just caught and that is just to get it to level 100 you can get it to level 100 by grinding in area zero or just giving any candy like how i did find greninja you're going to look around on your map looking for the poison symbol that's all black and glowing and that'll be the greninja raid and in this raid we're going to be using shell bell every time you do damage you get one eighth of the hp back usually i like to use life orb because it's 30 percent damage increase but takes 10 percent every time you attack Feel free to pause the video because this shows every move that I made every turn. <laughs> but I'm just going to let the video ride right here. So you can feel free to just, like I said, take a screenshot, do something. You're probably tired of me talking. And if you want to see how I adapted, I didn't do it every turn in the video that you're going to see. But this is what I found most effective what's on the screen. So take care. And if you made it this far, why not subscribe, leave a like, let me know how it did, and I'll see you guys in the next one.